Welcome to the third video in our SOLIDWORKS What's New for 2025 series. My name is Ed Hawkins and over the next few minutes I will take you through some improvements at assembly level. Firstly, the performance evaluation tool in SOLIDWORKS 2025 now includes several new results to help understand areas of your assemblies that might be causing degradation in performance. Previous version reference gives a count of any files that have not been saved to your current version, an often recommended step when upgrading SOLIDWORKS to a new major release. Users can open the reference file to see the location of each out-of-date component. Graphic triangle counts are also included in this report, highlighting parts with over 5,000 triangles. The file can then be opened directly from this dialog to investigate and simplify as needed such as removing these model threads in this fastener. SOLIDWORKS has multiple ways to work with complex assemblies depending on your intended usage. Speed pack configurations being one of those options that creates a lightweight graphical presentation of your assembly. New in SOLIDWORKS 2025, a speed pack configuration can be built at the top level assembly, dramatically streamlining the process needed to leverage this performance focus feature. With speed pack creation, users can define faces, edges, parts, bodies and more to be included or excluded. This speed pack includes the base feet for mating into another assembly and the boom arm for interference detection if used in a facility layout design. The speed pack graphic circle indicates what has been included or excluded in this speed pack. SOLIDWORKS 2025 also introduces a new system option for the display style of the speed pack circles. Users can now adjust the display circles display with a slider, ranging from 10% to 100% opacity. This really helps when reviewing speed pack configurations, giving a much softer visible appearance. Speed pack is just one way users can increase performance when working with complex assemblies. Large Design Review is another feature that has been around for a while and in SOLIDWORKS 2025 sees some really great new enhancements. Opening the top level in Large Design Review, or LDR for short, opens in just a few seconds. In 2025, LDR now supports breadcrumbs for navigating through your assemblies. It also introduces support for the Component Preview window a great feature for investigating geometry directly in a second integrated window within your design session. This handle subassembly has reports of interference occurring. In SOLIDWORKS 2025, interference detection is now fully supported when working in large design review. This is a great way to identify areas of concern without having to resolve any of your assemblies, making for a really nice addition to the growing functionality available in LDR. After verifying the interference, the protective housing component that is causing the interference can be seamlessly opened, fully resolved directly from the LDR version. This allows for a quick modification to the correct hole dimension from a 14mm diameter to the appropriate 16mm needed for proper clearance of the handle shaft. Working between LDR and fully resolved mode is easy. Using breadcrumbs to select the handle subassembly, it can be opened directly as a fully resolved model with just a few clicks. This handle has multiple display states created, which is a great way to represent the model by recalling hidden and shown components, alternate appearances and more without having to change the underlying geometry or modify configurations. However, when multiple display states are created, it can become difficult to manage all of these. 2025 now introduces a table that automatically compiles display state information for each component in the assembly and each display state that has been created. This allows users to manage display states with ease simply by toggling components on and off from each column and their respective row that reflects the assembly tree instances. Changes can be seen in real time by applying the update and once complete, click OK to save. Here we see a handful of open documents in this session of SOLIDWORKS. In 2025, users can now create document groups that recall all open documents during a given session. 
Let's close everything out and take a look at how this works when starting a new session. From the home screen or recent document group, you'll see a new tab that is available that will list out all of your saved document groups from previous design sessions. The document groups display all previous saved groups, which makes for a very fast and efficient way to open multiple parts, assemblies and drawings with a single click. In this case, a series of assemblies have been loaded so I can continue working without having to locate and reload all of those recent files. Let's look at the internal belt mechanism in the Proteus boom arm. This assembly has a surface offset from the main belt of about two tenths of an inch. The goal is to help understand possible downstream contact or interference issues. SOLIDWORKS 2025 now supports the use of surface-to-solid and surface-to-surface -surface interactions when calculating interference detection. The belt, main structural components along with the supporting brackets are all selected and calculated. The results show no interference in the design. There are a few other fasteners that need to be mated into place in this assembly. Copy with mates is a useful tool to carry over components and their referencing mates. Now in SOLIDWORKS 2025, Copy with mates supports advanced mates and mechanical mates such as this slot mate. Using the right mouse button menu, it's easy to select entities and progress to the next field to define each new slot mate's reference faces, all independent of each other. This is an extremely efficient way of carrying through redundant mating processes in your design. The Copy with Mates enhancement includes all mechanical and advanced mates such as angular mates, limit distance mates, profile center mates as we see here and many more. Now let's set this sub-assembly as flexible and this additional monitor stand is complete and ready to be introduced into a new facility layout design. First, let's start a new assembly to include the monitor stand along with the Proteus Motion top level. Users will be excited to see that in SOLIDWORKS 2025, Y-UP and Z-UP workflows are available when creating new parts and assemblies. Watch as the triad moves from Y-UP to Z-UP and the default planes have also been renamed accordingly. Now we'll simply add in our monitor stand along with the speed pack configuration of the Proteus Motion. Using the mate wizard, we will select the new top plane that's been created from the Z-Up workflow and the base of the monitor stand, along with the foot of the speed pack configuration to begin positioning our facility layout. SOLIDWORKS 2025 gives you greater options within the performance evaluation tool. Speed packs can now be created at the top level and breadcrumbs can be used within Large Design Review. Also in Large Design Review, the Component Preview window is accessible. New for 2025 is the Display State table, allowing you to manage multiple display states much easier. Document groupings can be created to open multiple documents much faster. Copy with mates can now be used for mechanical and advanced mates, and we can also specify Z up when we create a new part or assembly file. Thanks for watching, and look out for our next video on what's new for drawings and MBD in SOLIDWORKS 2025.